そっか Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Our Earth is filled with many animals that are not aggressive and harmless, or even some neutral animals that most likely won't attack you unless provoked, and even some animals that are extremely dangerous. In today's video, I will be doing my top 10 animals who are the most deadly to us. At number 10, Hippopotamus. Kill count. Estimated 500 deaths a year. So, why is this giant, frightening animal so dangerous? When you think of deadly African wildlife, you might perhaps assume lions took the top spot. In actual fact, hippos kill many more people every year. Hippos are deadly land mammals. This is because they are very aggressive and territorial, and have a habit of charging at boats and capsizing them. So, what if you went on land to run away? Well, did you know hippos are actually very fast animals being able to reach top speeds of 19 miles per hour? Having an animal over 6,000 pounds with large mouth with a powerful bite force is basically a death sentence if you ever decide to fight off the animal. So avoid going near wild and agitated hippos. At number 9, African elephant. Kill count estimates 600 deaths a year. We may perhaps think of elephants as gentle, thoughtful creatures, but they can also be deadly, depending on some circumstances. This is in part due to their sheer size and weight being able to weigh over seven tons as the largest living land animals ever. Because of habitat loss and encroaching farmlands into elephant home areas, they are coming into contact with humans more and more frequently, and this has led to conflict. Groups of elephants have been known to raid farms and villages, and will trample and gore anyone in their way. At number eight, saltwater crocodile. Kill count estimated 1,000 deaths a year. Another deadly water dweller you would want to avoid is the salty or saltwater crocodile. Crocodiles as a group are quite deadly, killing so many people a year, but they do not generally set out to hunt humans, and kills are opportunistic. The saltwater crocodile, however, is one of the most likely to see humans as prey. It is also fierce, fast, and intimidating, being the largest living reptile and crocodilian known. Males can grow to a length of 6 meters and weigh 1,000 kilograms. When pursuing prey through the water, they can also reach speeds of 18 miles per hour. All this together means that if a saltwater crocodile has chosen you as his prey, survival is unlikely. And don't forget about the massive bite and jaws these reptiles will endure onto its victims. At number seven, Ascaris roundworms. Kill count estimated 2,500 deaths a year. The roundworm here is the parasite, rather than just the vector, like the mosquitoes. Ascaris roundworms are transmitted when a person accidentally ingests their eggs, which is unfortunately usually when food or drink is contaminated by human feces. The worms take residence in the small intestine and use the human body to stay alive, feed, and reproduce. The resulting disease is called ascariasis, is characterized by fever, abdominal pain and swelling, and shortness of breath, and kills around 2,500 people every year. Yeah, that's nasty next topic. Number six, scorpions. Kill count, estimated 2,600 deaths a year. Some of the most deadly animals are those that deliver venom. Unlike poisonous animals, who secrete toxins, venomous animals directly deliver it using specialized body parts through a bite, or, in this case, a stinger. Scorpions produce venom for the same reason that many species do not to kill humans, but to actually subdue or kill their prey. However, the venom of 25 species of scorpion can be deadly to humans. If you are unlucky enough to get in one's way, stings often happen when scorpions are accidentally stepped on with bare feet or when they are hiding in people's shoes. They use it as a defense mechanism against getting crushed rather than as an attack, so make sure to watch where you are stepping in scorpion territory. Number five, the assassin bugs. Kill count estimated 10,000 deaths a year. 
An insect that spreads disease and death through its bite is the aptly named assassin bug. Some species of this Central and South American true bug are responsible for spreading Chagas disease, another tropical parasitic disease that kills approximately 10,000 people per year globally. The species that do this are also often called kissing bugs, as they tend to bite people's faces as they sleep. Well, that's just a scary way to go out with a quote-unquote kiss. Number four, saw-scaled viper. Kill count, estimated 138,000 deaths a year. The venomous saw-scaled viper holds the record as the world's most deadly snake in terms of mortality. Snakes overall are high up on the list of deadly creatures, as snake bites are responsible for as many as 138,000 deaths annually because of their venomous bites. The saw-scaled viper is a particularly aggressive species and will strike quickly, making it more deadly than the snake that is actually the most highly toxic, but also shy, the inland taipan. Just try not to get in one's way and watch where you step. Number three, freshwater snail kill count. Estimated 200,000 deaths a year. This one may surprise you. More than 200,000 deaths a year can be attributed to freshwater snails. This is because they are hosts to deadly parasites. In particular, parasitic flatworms known as flukes. There are as many as 24,000 species of flukes, and most of them are parasites of vertebrates, like us, and mollusks, like snails. A particularly nasty one that is transmitted by freshwater snails is called schistosoma. The flukes live and develop within the snail, then are released into the water. Humans get infected from the contaminated fresh water as the flukes penetrate the skin. This is responsible for a deadly human disease called schistosomiasis, also known as snail fever. After malaria, this is considered to be the second most socioeconomically devastating parasitic disease ever. At number two, humans. Kill count. Estimated 431,000 deaths a year. Arguably the most deadliest is ourselves, but we have a contender who even outcompetes us for kill count, but we'll wait for now. Homicides account for an estimated 431,000 human deaths a year, making us by far the deadliest mammals. Our capacity for advanced tool use above and beyond that of all other animals has in some ways been our downfall, leading as it has to complex weapons that we use to kill each other. And this is not to mention the destructive impact our activities have had on the natural world, resulting in climate catastrophe, which is already estimated to cause over 150,000 deaths annually. Climate change affects human health and safety in many ways, affecting the cleanliness of our water and air, our food security, and the frequency of natural disasters. It can also increase the frequency of diseases, including ones mentioned in this list, such as malaria. The WHO estimates that between 2030 and 2050, climate change will cause approximately 250,000 additional deaths per year due to malnutrition and disease. Number one, mosquitoes. Kill count, estimated 700,000 to 1 million deaths a year. The ultimate example of a very small animal with a very big impact. In terms of the number of humans killed every year, Mosquitoes by far hold the record. That is not to say these tiny insects set out to kill, however. Rather than killing directly, mosquitoes are instead very frequent disease vectors. This means that in the course of their feeding, on human and animal blood, they incidentally transmit infectious pathogens, carrying bacteria, viruses, and parasites from person to person. The mosquito-borne disease with the highest number of fatalities is malaria, a parasitic infection that is spread by female Anopheles mosquitoes. This disease is so widespread and lethal that it has had a massive impact on human history and even our evolution. Well, we covered my top 10 deadliest animals, and if you like this content, then make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Also, if you have any more suggestions, let me know.